Hey guys, in this video, I want to go over how to get the best performance out of Steam Link streaming games from Steam on your PC over to a Steam Link supported device. So for me, I have the Steam Link app hooked up to an Apple TV and an Nvidia Shield. These are two of the more capable devices that you can use with Steam Link and the more capable the device, the better it's going to work for you. And I just worked my way through some issues on dealing with some serious lag on Steam Link to now things are running really well. So I want to go over what I did and then some additional options. So what worked best for me and what I highly recommend to anyone who's trying to play games over Steam Link is to connect your computer to a wired network. So running an Ethernet cord from your router to your PC is going to do wonders for improving the performance that you're getting on Steam Link. Because if you're trying to do this over wireless, your computer is receiving a wireless signal and trying to send it out and it can interfere with it. You can get choppy performance, and for me, it was practically unplayable trying to do it strictly over wireless. Now, beyond just connecting your computer to a wired network over Ethernet, I also recommend connecting whatever streaming device that you have hooked up to your TV. Also be hooked up with Ethernet if you can do that. So for me, I have an Ethernet cord running directly to my Apple TV, and that's also helping me get really solid performance. But I would say in order of importance, getting that Ethernet to your computer takes priority. And then if you can run a second Ethernet to the device that is hooked up to your TV, that would be second in the list of priorities of things to hook up over Ethernet. Now, if you absolutely have to do this over a wireless Wi-Fi signal, there's some things that you can do to try to help the situation out. So you're going to want to choose 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band over the highly congested 2.4 gigahertz band. And this one's also probably pretty straightforward, but moving your router to a better location and moving your Steam Link out in front of your TV can help with the signal. Also making sure that your PC and router are in open, well-ventilated areas to get the best performance out of them that you can. And also moving your Steam Link device up in priority. So most routers include a feature that can be accessed through your router administration panel or in some cases an associated application provided by your equipment manufacturer. So I'm using an Asus gaming wireless router. I have an Asus app on my phone that I can use to adjust device priority. But it's going to be different depending on which Wi-Fi router that you're using. And you might not even have an associated application that you can use to adjust this. But you can also enable network prioritization within Steam Remote Play settings. So you go to Steam, Settings, Remote Play, Advanced Host Options, and check the Prioritization Network Traffic option at the bottom. So there's some different things that you can try that are laid out in this article. And I'll link this article down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. But again, going back to what I harped on at the beginning of the video, the best way to get the best performance out of your Steam Link is to connect your computer up to a wired network over Ethernet cable. This is what worked best for me. It turned my situation from basically being unplayable to being quite good once I hooked up my PC over Ethernet. So I hope this video is helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.